Good morning. Good morning, good morning. How's everybody's morning going? It's early as hell. It's 7.30 in the morning. And I am on my way to Bojangles to meet up with two other people that are uh, bringing 16 foot trailers to help me move. It's supposed to be one more person that's supposed to be helping me pack, but she's not answering her phone or her messages, messenger, or anything. So, looks like it's going to be a, a guy's, a guy's ordeal. Um, it would help if she was here because then I could do one room and she could do the other. It's not like it's anything hard. It's just packing some shit. But anyway, today's the day that I get completely out of this fucked up ass trailer. Now, regardless if I get this house or not, or if they steal my money or not, that's really beside the point right now. My thing is, is getting out of that trailer and getting my stuff to a safe place like a a storage unit. I don't know how many of you out there have ever used storage units, but it's nerve wracking because you end up keeping your stuff in there for a long ass time. I have another storage unit that I've been paying off for about shit going on two fucking years $40 a month it's not a heated and cooled one or climate control but there's nothing in that one that really needs that the stuff that I'm putting in there t today I do kind of need a uh, climate control one but the thing is is it should not be in there no longer than a week. If it is, well, I'm just going to end up getting pissed off about the whole ordeal. But anyway, I threw a deal out there on uh, Facebook I'll tattoo somebody here's the deal $500 for two full work days that means from 1 to 9 one day and 1 to 9 the second day well, I woke up this morning to this guy that always talks like he wants to get tattooed. But he never comes in. He is a bullshitter, is what he is. And now he's a bullshitting cheapskate that thinks that he can make deals up for me. Well, let me tell y'all something out there. If you're one of my followers uh, on Facebook or anything like that, you don't make up deals for me. I make up my own. And they're deals for a reason. The normal deal is usually $500 for one day. One full day. As much as you can handle in that day. Well, I 
figured if I could make $500 in two days, then I'll be okay, even if that's the only tattoo I do all week. Well, I wake up. To this guy that uh, messaged me on on Facebook, telling telling me, not even asking. He says, "Well, I'll do one day for the two hundred and fifty, seeing as though it's five hundred for two days." My response to that is who said that that was a deal that I was giving out? You can't go and take my $500 deal for two days and break it down for one day, and then break it down to quarters. If you're willing to put up $500, I'm willing to work on you for two full days. $250 only for one day for one person. It's just not worth it because I can make $200 in about four hours. Now, if you want, uh, if you want to put up $250, then I'll give you four to five hours worth of work, but it's not gonna be a full day. I'm sorry, it's just, it's not worth it. What is worth it is $500. That's a little, good little chunk of money right there that somebody's, if somebody has $500 to put up, that tells me they're willing to, uh, they appreciate the deal that they're getting, which is for two full days. I mean, if you did break it up, it would be $250 a day. All right? But that's if you break it up. I'm not breaking this up. I'm not breaking my deals up. My deal is $500 for two full work hour days that don't mean I'm going to be a full day does not mean 24 hours in a day that's not a work day I'm not a slave I'm not going to break myself down like that but you will get 8 to 9 hours each day for $500 now, if that's not good enough a deal for people, then obviously they're trying to just do me down and not only trying to break my deals down, trying to break me down too. You don't tell me what my deals are. I'm not gonna put up with that crap. I don't like it, I don't appreciate it, and I damn sure ain't gonna do it. Now, if you would have asked, hey, man, if if I had $250, will you, do I get a full day instead of uh, $500 for two days? I'd still tell them no, but I wouldn't be as uh, much of an asshole as I was when I texted him back of him assuming that he can just make up my deals for me. There's a reason why they're deals. And there's only one son of a bitch that can uh, make that deal. And that would be me. I don't have a manager. Nobody tells me what to do. And nobody tells me how to price my shit. I could easily make $500 in a day just from tattooing 
three different people. Shit, two different people. Hell, yesterday, I tattooed for, what was it, four hours, five hours. I did it for $200. That's because they just automatically said, hey, Wes, I got $100 for me and $100 for him. Uh, We're going to come by and let you do whatever you want to do on us. Well, shit, if you do something like that, well, then I throw a different deal on, on there for you right there, right then and there. Because when you tell me that, you know, you, that I can do anything I want and all they got is $100 a piece, well, I'm going to hook you up. And unfortunately, my boy last night, he, uh, he had to stop it it was it's on his back and it's a humongous cover-up it's uh it's actually going to be a pretty amazing cover-up too for the fact of how big this shit is it goes all the way across his shoulder blade to shoulder blade pretty much shoulder to shoulder and uh (laughs) it's all black Luckily, the black is wore out, so it's more like what what I what we like to call Superman blue. That's what happens to old black ink or the old uh, um, chemical uh, formula for the black ink from a long time ago. It fades out to uh, like a, a bluish bluish black color, bluish gray, whenever it fades out, and therefore, I can go over it with regular black that I use, because it's ten times blacker than any any of the other uh, old blacks that they used to use a long time ago. All right, so I'm at Bojangles right now. We're gonna go in here. We're gonna all meet up, go drink some coffee in here, wake the rest of the way up. Hopefully, uh, my girl will wake the fuck up and uh, get over here. not that I need her help I'm trying to help her out by uh, getting getting some tattoo work done and uh, if you help told her she helped me uh, pack up some st- my stuff then I'll hook her up with some with some work um, she's gonna help me unload it too into the house and help me clean that house before I get into it. So it's not like she's just going to come over here and help just to pack up. We will, uh, she'll be helping me do the remainder of unpacking and all that kind of good stuff right there. Mainly cleaning the house that I'm about to get in, wiping everything down, inside and outside the cabinets, the sinks, the uh, all the floors, the bathrooms, um, and wh- while she does that, that's when I'll start unpacking everything and start putting it into, for say, the clean cabinets. Um, my area rugs, they need to get put down because there's a lot of hardwood and tile type stuff. I believe it's a concrete foundation, so it's going to be hard anyways with no kind of give whatsoever. I really don't like that kind of, uh, flooring, 
but you know, beggars can't be choosers. But I am begging them to get the hell up out of that house because the first is coming up. I told them I wasn't going to bother them until the first again. I, I kept up, with, I'm keeping up with my promise. I have been wanting to call and say, hey man, what's up? Have you heard anything? But I don't even want to hear that no. You know, if they've moved out, they would have called me by now. If they if they haven't called me by now, then obviously they're still they're still in it. So we're gonna go up we're gonna go in here, we're gonna drink some coffee and um, see how our day goes and I might make a little video while we're doing the packing and everything. Or maybe while we're going down the road or whatever the case is, I don't know. Um, but all I'm saying, Delville, fuck you. The cops in Delville, fuck off. Except for the few that are actual good police officers. Please keep up your good work and don't let the, the bad cops corrupt you. Stay being good police officers. We need more like you guys and I appreciate everything that you guys do. You guys have uh, helped save my life one good time by coming to get me while I was uh, not being able to breathe. And I appreciate that and thank you for that. So, so that being said, you guys have a good day. And all you cop, other cops out there that think that your shit just doesn't stink, y'all can fuck off. That's pretty much the way I see it. That's it.